Hello, it's just Crafty Chantel and welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Today we're going to do an unboxing and demo of two Anna Griffin paper kits. The first one I have here in um, looks like shades of pink and green are the Lillian paper crafting kit. It comes with cardstock, um, embellishments, and sentiments. And then this one over here is called the Happy Papers and Embellishments. And it comes with cardstock sheets, 60 embellishments, and 18 die cut titles. So let's first <clears throat> unbox the kits and see what we have. And then we will do a couple of demos using items in the kits. So let's see try to keep this as neat as I can. So this is the paper. And the note says that there are um, 24 12 by 12 cardstock sheets. So it looks like you get two of each and they are double sided. So we'll do a flip through. Lots of florals, all beautiful. And then let's go to the other side. So the B side seems like some background layers and then the A side, maybe some centerpiece layers. Then it also has cardstock sheets. So these are five by sevens and they look like they're about the same thing. So let's just, let's go through these a little more slowly since they're easier to handle. And it's consistent with the Anna Griffin vibe. She's giving you everything you need to do your matting and layering, of course. And then let's flip. So I purchased this kit on HSN. And then we have 90 embellishments. So that's gonna be this flower pack, which we all know. And the Griffin gives you great flowers. So um, I'm seeing that this flower pack has some smaller ones and larger ones purple something I always always need purple and blue flowers those are the ones that it seems like I always need or can't get enough of and also part of the 90 embellishments is going to be these um die cuts and toppers let's take a look at these so it wouldn't be true Anna Griffin gold, go, true Anna Griffin without the gold. Teacups, flourishes, butterflies, more flowers. Like mock postcards, another layer for your cards. Oh, I love that circular layer, that's very pretty. So, more embellishments for your cards. And she's giving you um, plenty, so you don't have to be frugal. Um, I purchased these kits on my own. This is not a sponsored video. Um, these were not sent to me. I um, purchased all my product, products on my own and just make these videos 
for fun because I am a craft enthusiast. And then we have 20 sentiments. So these are probably what I would call everyday sentiments. Feel better, happiness, just a little note, blessed to call you a friend, so happy together, happy anniversary. So this is the Lillian paper crafting kit. So I'll move this to the side and go through the happy paper crafting kit next. Happy papers. And so here we have 36 sheets of cardstock. And I will have to say that um, some of these are familiar. I think I have them in other um, packages. So, and it's three of each this time around. So there's your pink. Okay, so she's giving you some solids. Beige. So yes, these really line up with um, some of the Anna Griffin card bases that came out or that were, they're probably actually still for sale, but I definitely have these papers in my collection. I've used a lot of them, so it doesn't hurt to have more of them, but they are not something that I've ever seen before. And these are not double-sided. So 36 pieces of cardstock, three of each. And then we have 68 embellishment stickers. Now was the other one stickers? Oh, that one said embellishments. This one says stickers. So I do love when they have the tape on the back. Oh, and some of these are pretty big too. Oh, wow. Look at that. So they're not the 3D layer. These are single layer, a little bit thinner. And on the back here, if you kind of use your pokey tool, these are stickers. And they are actually pretty big. Gotta love that. And then 18 die cut titles. So she's not calling these sentiments. She's calling these titles. So much fun. This is us. Blessed beyond measure. Live every moment. Best day ever. So this is kind of getting you into your um, scrapbook page vibes. Happy times, favorite memories, our story. Some of these are tags. So yeah, this um, happy papers and embellishments is really giving me the scrapbook vibes. I know she's having, um, Anna Griffin's having to create, uh, create and crop at home and it's for scrapbooking. I did sign up for that May 2022. So I'm very excited to attend that because I don't do a lot of scrapbooking. <coughs> Um, so that is, those are the pieces that are in the Happy Papers embellishment. So let's get into it and see what we can create. Okay, and just to show I am not a complete crazy person. So this is from this kit today. And then this is Anna Griffin from my stash. Um, the one in my stash is a little bit darker. Um... And I don't see anything on here. This is AG 256. 
2156 and then this is from my stash because you can see it has this banner at the bottom and then this is from today's kit and the same with this one one of the differences that this from my stash is paper and then this one is cardstock so let's see are they exactly the same maybe a slightly different in shape so you know no diss i, I love it all but <clears throat> those are something that is something that it looks like i already had in my stash so i'm narrowing my colors down i think i want to go with these greens and yellows i was leaning towards a um purples everybody knows i adore purple but i didn't see a um solid purple so maybe i'll go with those colors <coughs> pardon me and again these are scrapbook pages and i am not very skilled at scrapbook pages so I will just use that so much fun sentiment. And then let's try to work in some flowers. This kit um, has a lot of familiar stuff. Familiar and favorite, you know, to be honest. Like I said, no diss. I, I love, I love Anna Griffin and um, I love her pieces. So, I was kind of hoping for some more neutral colored flowers like this one with the acorn and then I may just come over here so this is an Anna Griffin fall foot foliage kit so I think I'll use one of those one or two of those i'll pull out okay so <clears throat> this paper this package comes with um papers it comes with sentiments and it comes with embellishments i pulled out from my stash your traditional anna griffin gold um, this Anna Griffin squared lace 3D embossing folder and I do not have many square embossing folders. I might need to go through some of the kits and see if those have square folders. Um, probably do. And then I have a couple of dies. These are also Anna Griffin dies um, from my stash. You can tell this one is a little worse for wear, um, but you can tell they're Anna Griffin because they're gold. So, um, I want to do my first layer in the pattern paper, my embossed layer, and then my decorative layer, and then my sentiment on top of that. May do the decorative layer in gold. We'll have to see, but I think it's it's not going to be necessary. And then we can just come in with some flowers. This actually might be be plenty, and we don't even need to go with the foliage from. The, from the other kit. I'll just put that off to the side. So let's get to um, cutting our paper down. This is a six by six card base. cut this one in six by six just to make it easier to manage. I 
and then I'm going to cut it and then emboss it on the um, the second pass. washi tape to hold that down and then cut a corner of this And I'm using my Gemini Pro today. I'll have it off screen. But it's perfect for this project because I'm cutting a few things at one time. And you can see how that um, so I use the metal plate and and the plastic. So you can see how that cut right through all. I think that's fine. I don't think we need to do it in gold. And then I have my Anna Griffin 3D embossing folder. You can see that's pretty good emboss. I only used the cutting plates. I did not use the rubber mats. So that is how our card is layering up. And then we have our Little embellishment stickers. Okay, so let's just put this together. and a quarter. And I'm just using a tape pen. Oh, there's always room for gold. 
if that's your thing. So this is the daddy tape pin. And I just eyeballed that using these design elements. And then I don't think that this is tape. So I'm going to put the flowers on and then do the sentiment last. So we're doing so much fun which is you know more of a scrapbooking element but we're putting it on the front of a card so when would that make sense um say you had a great date or you know you went out with some friends or some people invited you over for dinner or you know to thank someone for their hospitality you could send a card that says so much fun on the front and then on the inside has a thank you sentiment. So then I'm just going to use foam tape on the back here to elevate the sentiment. And there we go. One card using the happy papers and embellishment kit from Anna Griffin using a few things from our stash. So let's put that one off to the side and get started on our second card from the Lillian kit. Okay, so for card number two, as a card base, I'm going to use this pearlized um, purple cardstock that I purchased from Anna Griffin some time ago. Actually. It also came with envelopes that match. So, this is nice, you know. You always pull from your stash if you can. So maybe we'll, but I don't think that's gonna work because I do want to. So I wanna use the purple thinking of you sentiment on top of this embellishment. And then I wanna use this card stock and I want to try to capture this whole purple ribbon design. So it's gonna cover up the flower though, but that's what I wanna to try to do. And then if I need to do another layer, maybe I can bring that layer in. So let's just start by cutting out this design element. And I'm just eyeballing this. to it I should say just just eyeballing it go down to six inches and I think that will be even. Let's see what we have on this side. So my card base is five by seven. So um, technically it should be 
So that's going to be six inches. This should be four inches, but it, I have it at four and a half to keep my design intact. So let's see how that sits sits on. I think that's okay. And then here's our next layer and our final layer. It almost seems like we should do something to break up the gold. Like maybe that's when this cream comes in. Or maybe a pearlized white. that'll do it. So if my sentiment is two and three quarters by one and a quarter, I think I'm going to go three by one and a half. I used to have a crafter's companion tool that would notch or round these corners. Just soften it up a little bit. This is, you know, the Crafter's Companion Purple. So then let's come over here and pick out some flowers. Got a little purple bouquet there. I don't think I want to bring in too many big flowers or colors. But I am a sucker for a bow. purple and a griffin bow which kind of ties in with the bows that are already there I might like this purple better and then I can come over here with my handy dandy fork and make a purple bow and this one will be smaller so we'll just see which one we like and um, shout out to the YouTube video on how to make a bow. So let's see. I'm, I sold this from somebody on YouTube, so I'm not taking credit. Um, the bottom one is a little longer. You thread the top one through the middle of the floor, fork and bring it over. And then tie it in a knot. And again... And you kind of want to make sure that you hold on to your fork. So here we go. And then just slide it off. Yeah, I think that's a better bow. Just snip the ends. And put that off to the side. Okay, so let's just go ahead and mount our card. might be a good idea to do some embossing on our card base. I have tons of Anna Griffin embossing folders. This one is kind of busy. I just want one that's busy so that 
it'll show up on the ends. And then I'll just run this through the Gemini. This is going way back. Anna Griffin Cuddlebug. OG Damask. So, there. I always just have a little busyness in the background. I like that. And I'll start taking up my layers. Remember, this kit came with stickers. Sentiment on. Floral accent. For my bows, I use um, glue dots. about at the end of the row. And this is what they look like on a roll. Just peel them off. See on the inside there, glue dots. And then I try to maneuver the bow so that it'll stay flat. Uh, looks like I probably need to redo that bow, but in the spirit of keeping moving forward, Let's just use the Anna Griffin bow that we have. And there we have it. Had to pull one of my strings in a little tighter. No, I don't think I got it. <laughs> Let's just, there we go. Okay, so this one, and remember again, that's the envelope that goes with it. So this is the Lillian Paper Crafting Kit, and this is the Happy Papers Embellishment Kit, both from Anna Griffin. Also using a couple pieces from my stash, purchased on HSN, not on a craft day, just something I saw when I was browsing the website. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and also hit notifications so you can be notified when we post new videos. Thank you for joining me today. This is just Crafty Chantel.